Hello, my dear students. Welcome to IMS Gate Academy. Myself, Sandeep Adal. Sir, for civil engineering students, is five months is enough to plan for gate coaching? Or you have any strategy? How can I secure a better rank in gate? Or some people might be worried. I am a third year student. I am a final year student. How many hours have to prepare for a better gate rank? So, in this video, I would like to explain you what is the five month plan and what is the five month strategy for gate preparation. Now, my dear students, when I talk about the five month strategy, here, first one we are talking about what are the challenges we are facing in this. And we will talk about the realistic goals and what is the subject wise weightages, which is very important. Subject selection and order of study. What should be the time allocated for every subject? How many hours you have to study for each subject? And how you can revise? What is the best strategy to revise? And how to attempt the test series? So these are the things which I am going to cover in this 5 month strategy. Now my dear students, if you talk about the challenges, what are the basic challenges you have? So here the first one is the challenging can be if you have done poor planning, then the entire preparation might go wrong. The next one is consistency. Sir, consistently, if you are preparing 4 hours a day, that maintenance you have to do for the entire 5 months. The second important thing in consistency is attending the classes. If you are taking gate coaching, let me tell you my dear students, some people will take online coaching. Some people might be taking offline coaching. But you have to attend the classes where the coaching will help you to reduce the effort in studying. That is the job of a coaching institute. So if you are not attending the classes, then the number of hours to study yourself will definitely increase. That is the reason self-learning will have, you have to invest more number of hours in self-learning. And other thing is distractions. You have to understand, suppose for weak subjects like diploma student, they might be facing challenges in the subjects like engineering, mathematics and aptitude because they are less habituated and less practice when compared to the plus two students. Similarly, motivation which is also very important because maintaining that same speed and same consistency throughout the five months at your age is very difficult. So, we'll discuss all these things, how it can be overcome and all. So, let us see the realistic goals. How much should I score? This is very important. So, my dear students, if you have started now, is it the time sufficient? Can I get into IS? So, to get into IS is if you can get 70 plus marks, even with 65 also you are getting into IS. And next important thing is PSUs. It is around 65 marks. For IITs and NITA, it is 55. NITs and IIM, it is 50. For central universities, it is 40. For state government colleges, it is 35. Now, see, identify what is the realistic goal. Suppose we have classified into different students here. So, there can be final year students, there can be a third year student or a passed out student or a student who is working also there. So, I have classified into passed out student, final year student, third year student and working professional. So, what should be the preparation strategy for each one? So, passed out student might have attempted once. So, how many hours are available? It will be around 800 to. So, what should be the realistic aim? 8 to 90. That means you can assume you can get a rank below 100. And if your preparation started just now, you can a category is C2, which is 60 to 70 mark. And if your preparation is yet to start, means started already in third year, 500, because some subjects you are not aware. If you are a working professional, you will have less number of hours. So my dear students, based on the number of hours preparation, based on the category of the student, one is passed out is first C1 category. If you are final year C2, third year C3, Working professional, I have given you C3. Like C1, C, because why I have given C2, C2 for third year five year? Because almost the same number of hours and same goal you can keep. So let us see what is the realistic aim. So my dear students, for passed out students, some passed out students preparation has not started yet to start. Then you can aim for 70, 80 marks. Because in a day, how many hours you can give the complete number? Final year yet to start, you can make 50 to 60. Third year preparation yet to start. 50 to 60. Yet to start for working 45. So based on the students who are preparing, who are yet to start the preparation, 
I have given the simple classification and I have given them different categories and what should because my dear students you haven't started preparation and you cannot aim for all India first time because gate requires some particular duration of hours and it is based on the subject weightage also. So here if I talk about the identifying this is one of the realistic goal which I want to tell you. So this slide is very important. Now to achieve 65 marks or 70 marks you can get into PSU or IITs or NITs or IASC. So for that if you see the major important subjects for civil engineering is one is geotechnical engineering, another one is transportation, environmental engineering and engineering mathematics and aptitude. So that's what I have told you general aptitude, engineering mathematics, geotechnical, environmental and transportation. Almost 55 to 60 marks will be coming from this subjects only. So my dear students, if you are reading these five subjects, almost 60, 60 marks are you are getting. And that if you can go like 20, 30%, 20% 20 less, still you can get 48. From the remaining subjects like geomatics, reinforced cement concrete, hydrology irrigation, or if you can consider CMM, steel structures is somewhat difficult based on the hours availability, we'll judge. So these are the weightages. So my dear students, this is very important. Identifying which subjects you have to study is very important. So again and again, I'm stressing on these five subjects. If we can read these five subjects along with OCF or surveying, which we call geomatics and some of the important topics in structure analysis or hydrology irrigation will definitely help you to get into PSU IIT. So this way you have to smartly identify the subjects. Agree my dear students, after this let me tell you, after selecting the subjects where it is, you have to understand one group one, I have given group one means it is a mandatory kind of subjects where geotech transportation environment, group two is these are the subjects where you can concentrate after completing these three subjects along with the revision. After group three is steel structure analysis and RCC. So group one subjects have made it mandatory for any student, whether it is a working professional, whether it is a passed out student or a final year student or yet to start, these are the five subjects. Apart from these surveying like CPM part, these are the subjects you have to concentrate and group three is like steel structure analysis and RCC. So my dear students, like what are the important points which you have to keep in September? So as I told you, my dear students, if you see in September, Conceptual clarity on basics are very important. Whichever subject you are learning, basics will play. Focus on general aptitude and engineering mathematics. For every subject, short notes, formula sheet, solving previous year questions. For every subject, three rules is the thumb rule. Like short notes, formula sheet, solving all the previous year. And as I told you, follow LPR, LPTR. What is? Learn, practice and test yourself. So this, in this way, in September month, if you can concentrate on general aptitude and engineering mathematics, like 25% of the marks you can get in. And these 25 marks will definitely help you to qualify, my dear students. So let us go into the important things. In learn, what you do, you do self-study or learning in class. Practice, you have to practice the previous year questions. In testing yourself, you can do chapter tests subject test or multiple subject test. So these are the important points and regular revision means after completing three, four chapters you have to do. So what is the agenda for September month my dear students? In September month you should have a conceptual clarity on basics and you should have a thorough understanding of engineering mathematics and aptitude. Agree my dear students? Now what should be the timetable for different categories? Like as I told you in learning how much you have to allocate is 40. For practice 30 percentile, testing yourself 20 and revising is very important which should be 20 percent. Like if you are a C, C1 means what sir, a passed out student who has already appeared for gate exam and the students with final year or third year students, how many hours they can allocate each day and how many hours they have to put on the GQB and chapter test and the students like working professionals. This is the detailed table you can flow, go through it and you will get how much time Sir, you name any test, this is the best methodology. Learning you have to keep 40 percentile, practicing 30 percentile, testing yourself 10 percentile and revision you have to keep for 20 percentile. Now, what are the important points on uh, October? So, as I told you, you have to select the core subjects like 2 to 3 subjects. But level, let me tell you, 
what are the core two to three subjects for category one we can say two to three subjects if you are comfortable in three you can select but i will suggest only two subjects either you can choose geotechnical transportation for category second and three they can choose only like geotechnical subject so engage in attempting the practice questions and try to solve all the level one level two and level three questions agree my dear students so in october month you will be concentrating on what sir you will be concentrating mainly on the core technical subjects like geotechnical transportation okay now same similarly again that learn practice test how much hours you have to spend for category one how many books you have to follow this is the table i have given you and as i told you you should understand which category you will fall whether it was a you are a college going student or a passed out student or a final year student i have given in the first table what is c1 c1 is like a passed out student c2 is a final year student which has started preparation or third year student and c3 is like a working professional like how many hours you have to put in learn how many hours you have to put in practice and what how do you, what is the purpose of revise so this way if you can concentrate in october and definitely same thing almost in category november some students can choose environmental and some students can choose transportation by november ending what is my plan is you will be completing all the five mandatory subjects like group 1 which is the mandatory five subjects like engineering mass aptitude you can say geotechnical transportation environmental and important thing along with the revision solving previous year questions short notes formula sheet everything should be done for these five subjects below november so the after by the end of november because what happens you are much confident that you are aware that you are already prepared for 60 percentile so you can choose another two three subjects which are very important in the month of december like what i can say like you can choose some subjects like geomatics and some of the important topics in cmm or you can expect definite questions from open channel flow these are the three subjects okay if you have still time like rather than focusing on the entire subject specialized topics solving previous year questions attending the lectures and in this way if you see allocate two days in this month for the revision of the first subjects which you have collected which you have started in the month of september like you have to again start revising the second revision from the month of december like you have to allocate two days for this month for revising the engineering maths aptitude which you have con which you have covered in the month of september for a better understanding so revision should be done in a particular intervals also my dear students so this is the plan for so when i talk about the last 30 days this is important my dear students when i talk about the last 30 days you have to do subject wise revision everything shortcut formulas formula should you have revision of weak areas you have to do get previous year questions mandatory you have to solve daily you have to test yourself and the most important thing is you have to believe in yourself and let me tell you my dear students in gate exam consistency believing in yourself motivating yourself and i always tell in my class also if you can give six months of your best efforts your 30 years of your life will be very fruitful because getting into psu or getting into iit will definitely will have a huge impact in your career and this will enlighten your career where you want to be so my dear students you have to motivate in this way for a better future always note that focus on every subject you have already covered and avoid attempting new topics in the last 30 days don't try to read the new subjects which you have not ever gone through it so this strategy whatever the five month strategy which i have given you will definitely understand for you what you have to do in september october november december and the last month so what are the strategies to revise this is very important things so as i told you my dear students you have to create a revision schedule you have to revise the classroom short notes not the entire notes switching between the subjects if you are you can do that will makes you more comfortable use some memory techniques and focus on the weak areas like if you want to see in geotechnical stress distribution formulas are very difficult to remember or if you want to solve some problems on shear strength you have to have a clear idea similarly in transportation traffic analysis we can expect equations in hydrology irrigation hydrograph or if you talk about infiltration, pi index, W index, crop period, we can expect a question. In RCC, limit state method. So in this way, you have to focus on the areas of weak or you want to revise the things also with the past papers. So review regularly. So what should be the strategies to see? 
why you have to attempt the test series this is very important my dear students so you have to test series will simulate the real test exam and you have to practice it regularly you have to use the virtual calculator you can have the feel of time management how to manage the three hours how to analyze the mistakes and stay positive and you can learn from the toppers like who are securing good marks you can talk to them what went to go correct for them what went wrong in that way regular analysis should be done to get a better rank so to when i talk about tests to be attempted we have chapter tests in a ims gate academy we in the 3.0 we have chapter test subject test multiple subject test or in a mock test also will be there so this is the important things which you have to keep in mind how to prepare and what we do at ims gate academy my dear students we at ims gate academy offers online gate coaching offline gate coaching at jayanagar and also at vijayawada and we are also providing the self recorded sessions so what are the features of ims gate academy see students we are providing 700 to 800 hours of online and offline gate coaching we are providing subject wise test chapter test multiple subject test and advanced level test in addition to this we are providing theory books and we have a premium product of 33 years of previous year solved question and the most important thing in ims gate academy is we provide personalized mentoring one to one mentoring we identify the weak areas of each and every student and mentors will be taking care for a particular number of student and they guide them in the prospect to in their entire five months or six months or one year course and they will identify their weak areas how these weak areas can be converted into their strength so in this way this personalized mentoring will definitely have high impact for success in addition to this my dear students as you know testing yourself as i told you in the last strategy also we have to attempt the test series because we have to analyze that uh, mistakes and we have to make that mistakes into your strength means you have to avoid that mistakes where it went wrong and next time it should not be repeated and it should have the replica of the gate exam like same the test conditions and all virtual calculator so here is the detailed all india mock test we have been released for gate 26 schedule and these are our days we are almost providing 12 in all india mock tests so that student get be habituated and he will be well trained and uh, i hope if you want to know our success stories these are our some of our success stories who have got into the iits and top iisc and also some of the nits i hope this video will help you and what is the best strategy for five month preparation my dear students let me tell you three important things you always have to keep in mind consistently you have to do that and the revision is also important thing identifying the five important subjects like engineering maths aptitude geotechnical transportation and environmental apart from this revision plays a very vital role i hope this detailed video of five month strategy will help all the civil engineering students to get into their dream place whether it is psu or iit thank you my dear students